What's going down, everybody? This is your boy, Big Drewski. And Stacks 510. And um, welcome to another edition of What Are We Doing? You know what? We got a special one. We can't, dog, you can't just jump in like that. We can't, we can't. You know stuff. what? We can't, because half of these idiots are just too high already. I know, but we got to, you know, people forget. Oh, yeah, I mean, stoners, gotta, stoners. We got to. Excuse gotta, my uh, yeah. stonerness. Yeah. We got to, now, for the people who are medicated a <laughs> little bit more than usual, <laughs> they call me PC the God over here. You know what I'm saying? You got to do things True right techie. sometimes. I, dog, I don't know how, but anyways. I don't know either, but it just comes down. Um, so, as of our last episode, Friday. Friday. Day, two days ago, day now. Yeah. Right. So Whatever you want to label it. You'll hear that in its entirety here very soon. Small edits being done, but we got everything, got everything on. So that one's actually going to drop actually sooner than you think. Well, this one, when you hear this, this session has already passed. This session is also sponsored by Rain Man Space Bucket Micro Grows. Find them on Instagram at Mostly Safe 8 and then go to their link in their store and you'll see the version of the beast that we're working with their space buckets. Yes. And uh, if you want to, you know what I'm saying, you can get your own and we're going to talk about something that you can grow in your own because that's all we do is talk about growing your own weed. Self-sufficient. Um, Stax had the question last week about the difference between autos yes. and regular Good old just phenotype C. Yes, which has been explained to me. But for those of you out there still who don't know, um, you want to tell me a little bit? Well, actually, I was going to introduce somebody who's a little bit more versed in the in the world. So, actually, you've had a little bit more interaction with you, so you go ahead and do this one. Oh. Round this guy out for me, man. Let's see. He's cool as shit to me. Yeah, I mean, damn. I mean, you you can't smoke as much as he does and not be chill as fuck, bro. Nah. I don't know how you smoke as much weed as he does and sit out in Vegas heat like that. Hey, it's better than drinking. Like, that's why when I was like, "Yo, we're clear, we got to go," bro. I know he ran. <laughs> <laughs> I know he did. Except if I stay still, I cook longer, bro. One thing you gotta get in here and balance that high. Feel that desert heat. Run a little bit. Just run. Run. But yes. So going by the surname, you can find them on Instagram. Please introduce yourself. Tricom. He got all up in the mic to be all special about it too. He wanted y'all to know who he is. Tricom in the building. Y'all need to remember this name. And currently, we are working on medicating. So, folks, real life me. happens. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Knox, that you're here from the smoke. Uh, smoke. Once again, uh, this guy travels too much for me to pinpoint an exact location where he's at. I think he's from Illinois. Thank you so much yes. for this nice, classy chillum. I researched the website last night. They're made in Chicago. Gotcha. As far as where headquarters is, <clears throat> Tell fuck, I the smoke. Mm-hmm. Talking about the smoke. Talking about the smoke. How you like it? How you like smoking out of the smoke? Rips. Mm-hmm. Right? Like Smooth. Weirdly, like too. Yeah. It's that oak. It's, it's really no, it's the, the it's secret the has to be the, the inside. Uh, the the ceramic actual bowl. ceramic bowl of the chillum itself. That has to do something with it. It does. I know it does. But I think everything's just around I, for flavor. Like, like noticing how somebody it. else smokes it. Like we discussed watch it. last time with the with the black and mild tips. You get more flavor out of the wood one than the plastic. I think the whole idea of this smoke, besides it being a hand cigar, is actually all flavor based. So when you smoke out of it, you're going to taste it. But it's going to punch you in your lung like your grandma when she found out you were smoking. Right, because I'm seeing some you doing big what? rips coming out this morning. You better not right be smoking that shit. But, uh. Shout out to grandmas everywhere. We're going to get back on the little motherfuckers in the chest. Miss right, you, grandma. Get, 
<laughs> Rest in peace. I miss my Yo, She's right? Like, all right, we're not gonna get into no weird, creepy stories no, no. right now. But yeah, my grandma yeah, is always with autos. me. Medicaid, let's talk folks. autos. Okay, so Auto. Sir Tricom is so we're very well versed in this. Like, for myself being a, a new grower, um, you know, I've been reading all the things about how to maximize yield on your plant. And this is going to apply to, like, regular cannabis gardening. Um, you know, for, and uh, you can pass my phone, please. cannabis gardening, gardening um, growing in a space bucket. So I'm really in a contained, tight space. But uh, Sir Tricomb here is a little bit more well-versed in the growing in sphere. World. So um, I've explained Otto's... In the most layman's of terms, autos don't care about Pretty conditions. Much. They just grow. Yeah. Layman's terms. Correct? That's definitely a, one way to put it. Yeah. For sure. So throw us the breakdown. Um, I'm the, the let reader. Them, let them know more about autos. For, for our fans who don't know, who are just starting, who just found out like me. Please, let, well, let it it's just, I mean, it's just like the name says, man, autos, they flower automatically, not according to, you know, light cycles or anything like that. It's according to age. They hit a certain age, regardless of, you know, whether you're hitting them with 12 hours of light, 18 hours of light, or even fucking 24 hours of light. They're going to flower. Yeah. Okay. Unlike your regular photo strains, you know, that you have to... Control now, their light cycle. Now I, I've read the uh, information you gave me, and all seeds are feminized, correct? No, no, no. So you, you all get seeds a batch are of... not feminized. Feminized seeds are man-made, I guess you could say. Okay, synthetic. Yeah, feminized seeds. Well, I wouldn't say so much synthetic not as in altered. Altered, there altered. You go. Like you so, really, like so you gotta mess like a GMO. with GMO. No, no, no. no like no, you can mess with like you not, can mess with like the light the schedule okay. and make it like flip like that. Or you can, when you're feeding it like your organic nutrients, you cut out something and it turns into that. You know what I'm saying? Like there, you okay. don't really have to do anything like chemical wise uh, to really have that effect. So from what I. Shout There's two different ways, man, to, to get feminized seeds. One uh, being that um, you can reverse the uh, hermaphrodite and get reversed female pollen, you know what I mean, from a hermaphrodite plant. Or you, they use this shit that's like... Um, hot. What's Smoke that? bullets? Not often, but I will. Okay. Keep in mind, again, though, I'm a... Yeah. Dab artiste. Sorry. And Sorry, folks. Just that. got past the blunt. No, we, bruh. I forced him to smoke blunts. Look, see, I'm. <laughs> he don't look, man, you know how years. important it was for me to try to even, like, ink this little inkling thing with Fatty's right now and get him to actually, like, do yes. it? He was like, nah, well, you know, man. We I'm really, still smoke blunt. We still looking at. We I still looking at. We still smoke blunt. And it's just how I was raised. Look, we see you posting us on us on Instagram. So Dutch Masters, stop playing around. Mm. Throw my man a box or two. Yeah, that's strong. It's smelling good. It's smelling like Christmas morning. I didn't even you know what I'm saying? It we, smells we, like my garden. The, <laughs> hey, I'm starting to love that smell more. And more. Yeah, it's awesome. Smell. Oh yeah. That's but uh. I don't know what the fuck I was going to say. Feminized seeds. We were talking about uh, feminized, feminized seeds and the difference between okay. the auto. So feminized last seeds. was feminized. You, right. Uh, you're just getting, when you when you get a seed and someone tells you it's feminized, obviously you're getting a guaranteed female seed. Yeah. As opposed to regular seeds, which are, different. yeah, you can get males or females. I personally, I, I breed, you know, for fun in my garden. I, I cross strains. I breed autos. 
I don't make feminized seeds personally. I, I like to uh, make regular seeds, so I mix okay. it up. Yeah, I can pass on you know the seeds to to my friends and right. shit, and, and they yeah. can grow. And you know what I mean? Yeah, and so, right. so, so they, they can come up with something. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Their own. A lot of people don't want you to do that, man. You know, but they'll keep their shit feminized so yeah. you can't breed with their you know their genetics and their strains. Now, is that where the uh, derogatory slang of pollen chunking? God. God damn right. That's where that comes in. It's, see, and I don't, I don't think that's, that's derogatory we, at all. I'm like, I don't yeah, I'm the genius out of here. Would call me the same thing. Like, know? I'm the genius Pond coming up chunker. with some crazy shit right now. Yeah, right. And you over here talking about, well, you need You're to do this. You're just a pollen chunker. Like, bro, I'm coming up with what people I'm are in calling my garden the next having strain. Fun is what I'm doing. You know, what you call it what you want. That's like, what it's about, though. It is, you know, like at the end of the day, like for me growing let's cannabis, say, let's say growing you, your you own mess. Or a specialty grower. And you only want one strain for whatever specific ailment you have. Now, after a while, you're gonna get bored of that fucking that strain. Element could be just boredom too. It is. Plus it's it's um you need variety in your life. You can't sit there and smoke the same thing for six years and tell me you ain't gonna love the taste of something else that just kicks in the back of your flavor buds. I can't smoke the same thing for six days. Right. No. The fuck you talking about? I'm talking about those who are going I mean, for their ailment. But if you're... You so know you know, know what you're like, growing, you're staying with that. Stay with yeah, you stay with it. Yeah, you yeah. There's yeah. yeah. one day it. when you but go... You can always you can always cut, breed, do all that shit with something new. Well, but, but you're going to want to find When you find that strange, specific medicine, though, you're going to stick with that. You're stick with that. For your medicinal needs. You're going to stick with that. Eventually, you want to play around with it here and there. But when you want to go hunt for turps and shit, you're going to go, yeah, for sure. Now, hunting for turps. On an auto versus a regular pheno grow, how how is that affected? Like, is it a bigger rate with autos? Bigger rate with pheno? Does it depend on your lighting situation? Uh, That's all passed down, man. With the so with it's the just genetics. The genetics, yeah. Like, so once so, it actually starts to flower out, you'll see it. Like, okay, yeah, that bit. Yeah. There you go. Like, I got mine right now in the CFL one, one I kind of just jumped into and said, all right, I'm going to learn how to work and make this thing, like we were talking about earlier off air. <clears throat> um, and uh, it finally, I've had this thing in flower for like a month. But in that month... <laughs> Still have it under CFL? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to change anything too drastically on it, especially like throwing in that extra 135 watt LED I've got sitting in that bitch right now. Change. Right. See so I was like, so I have an LED spacer, and it's just one spacer, so it used like six feet. More five one. And I was thinking about putting that on like the bottom end, the very, very bottom end with the CFL light, you can tell isn't pushing light onto there. Just to give it something. But with mixing those two lights. I've seen something similar to that, like, on a bigger scale, like, yeah. massive amount of LED lights with, like, a, like, HPS, yeah. like, space or whoever, like, on, right in the, the middle of it. A little it. bit of yeah. supplemental light, or yeah. vice versa, you know what I mean? Yeah. All HPS with a little bit of supplemental yeah. LED. Right. So, that's what my question was. Would putting that LED spacer in there supp- be a supplemental light, or would it, eh, because the CFL lights are... It Still would and it. basically it would it would turn that CFL to the supplemental light. You know what I mean? Even with that little amount of LED lighting, how many watts are you talking? Uh, it's like it's one of the, it's an LED light spacer it runs off of a twelve volt. Oh I, no 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 shit! I'm bad, yeah, man. I heard one hundred and fifty. Like, I was thinking of the Apollo. No, no, yeah, no, no, no not, not the saying. not the yeah. Galaxy Hydro. No, right, right. Uh, the spacer lights. Yeah, spacer. Yeah. Like oh, one yeah. spacer, little. Uh, but you can, like, when I popped it in just to, like, test and see everything worked and fit, you could tell, you could see that pink glow pushing through that CFL light. So I was right. like, should I just keep that? I'm thinking about just keeping it, I will. Put it in there. It just, it's, it started to flower. The pistol's, like, exploding. Shooting out everywhere. Shooting. Just choo, 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 choo. And what surprised me was the reveg of that sucker, too. Like, it's revegging everywhere. And a lot of people who have been hitting me are like, 
that's not going to go anywhere. You're probably going to lose all that growth, this and that, 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 that. This thing is exploding. Just lose it. Why? Hmm? Why they say you're going to lose it? Um, like some of the, uh, it went through when the heat wave hit. Oh, yeah. My AC yeah, went yeah. out. Yep. So the AC went out, I'm sitting there in the heat, you know, keeping it on a light schedule. The CFL light was just heating up, heating her up, heating her up, plus the natural hot air. It, it just was an all bad situation. And then, just a lot of heat pressure. as a new grower, when, oh my God, everybody says to water your plant. Right. Like a dummy, yep. instead of kind of keeping it normal, water the plant, it'll recover. As I learned, and then I threw her in a cooler room until I got everything kind of worked out. Now she's in the other. It's always, I remember this, man. It's always fucking always better to underwater your plant than to overwater. Which I, I, I learned I the that. hard Make way. I learned the hard way, like. Make them work for it. Yep, exactly. Make them work for that Good shit. Job. Make them roots work. Now, newt stress. Also good or bad at all times? Don't ever want newt stress, man. I don't even hear those two words together. It just fucking makes me cringe. Kind of. I, I <laughs> dig you. I yeah. dig you. Hell yeah. Um, reason why I say that, I know mine is definitely suffering from some newt stress. I'll show you some, some photo here. Um, so I think they may be root bound if it's the one I'm thinking of. The LED one? What it, it looks like you have too little of soil on there, man. You that know? thing's crazy. It's filled all the way up, and it's literally like may the, not be the, the same one, uh, root size. Now, the the one that's kind of like really tall, kind of droopy, light greenish. Yeah. You yeah. see, like that's the that's the CFL. That's my oh, first growth. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, this one I'm forced. I'm kind of forced to work within a three gallon pot size. So. Like now, being that you're restricted and to any type of size limits or, or anything like that. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, looks and like it's suffering ontology? actually from a couple of things, man. Definitely, I think that one's got the being stressed out. Dude, I'm heat, um, newts, man. It, it could be a couple of things. Yeah. So I'm just like right now. Well, that's your first s- CFL. That's your first run at it, man. I mean, I've seen much, much worse. I'll oh no, that. that's the that's my first LED. This is the LED. Yeah, LED? that's the one. I just moved it over into the different lighting and this and that, and then that. Uh, no, no, Jesus oh. Christ! You don't want to see no Damn. thoughts. Right. The one that's flowering right now that actually went in. That's the. Uh, that's, yeah, that's the, the one bang. I was telling you about. They, yeah, it looked like there wasn't enough soil. Just in the picture, though. But yeah, like I'm so restricted to that pot. So yeah. some uh, one of the guys on Instagram hit me up and he was like, "Just you, you might see some deformities just because of how you built that and how you you forced it to grow." You need to clean her up, man. I, I would I would clean her up all the way down right there, man. I would take that off. Take all that. Take that off. Yeah, take all them lateral branching down there on the bottom. Uh huh. Take them off, man. Glolly pop her up, you know. Shave her up. Clean her legs up nice. Shave man, up. she's already so small. Because Ooh. I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, the, you're not gonna up. get much. Yeah, right there anyway, and, and they they focus all their energy that way. Up top. G- that's right. She'll divert all her energy even more to okay. that main coal up top. Let's you know go, what I mean? When I wake her up tonight, just go ahead and yeah. clip her and let her heal through the, shave her through the light. Yeah. Cause what surprised me was like how that one shot shot out yeah and then these like on that side still you can see on the revegging they're kind of skimpy like one side for some odd reason decided to just jump um and I noticed on that one it was starting to do it until I clipped her right and then that LED light whatever LED lights do I don't know I'm still trying to find out but everything matched growth. And now, like, the top's just a little bit taller, but everything's, like, the same size. Now, let me ask you, man. That uh, purple color coming out, is that the LED, or is that the plant that's itself? The light. That's the light. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's why y'all you ever see that hashtag, man, the power of purple. Yeah. That's LED lights. That's man. LED lights, man, because... Because I've been watching I'm this shit since it was a dark green, now it's... It's fully up there, like where it is now. You want to check out some badass LEDs, man. Check out Lush Lighting. Lush Lighting? Lush Lighting. Okay. On IG? 
Yeah, that's what she IG. looks like. Out, com, that's Facebook, what she looks like outside yeah, of her, her lighting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's still got that green. I, I, it looks to me, though, man, you would get the best best use out of the space buckets, man, if you rock auto flowers in those space buckets, man. For real. Uh, I think you would uh, definitely get the best use. You yeah. Because I mean? I've got a small number in my head with as many space buckets that I have. Right. Um, a, it's another experiment with lighting conditions because it's three different in power wise uh, CFL versus two LEDs, one being 135 watt versus 180 watts. That's where it was 80. So, I was trying to think of it earlier. So, it's it's a grow competition in itself for me again to yeah. see the power of lighting. Yeah. Um, lighting LED difference. for the win every but time. But I'm from what I'm seeing, like I really want to kind of scrap my CFL hood and just <laughs> 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 yep. like dead serious. I want to go make just I uh, wouldn't put, put some money to the CFL, side, man. even if it's a little one like 135. That thing put out some magic. Yep. Hmm. And uh, that's yeah. I'm seeing like the power of LED is just amazing, especially like how everything matched growth. So I'm imagining that on an auto, you no know, maximum two and a half months, you're plucking that thing off, and you're and you're seed to, to your lungs. Yeah, that's and From that's seed to um, lungs, man. How, Knowing that you've seen that grow in person, like describe the first time the, the, it. the growth rate of that, and like your first time when you saw that, and you're like, "Holy, the day this you really does happen!" That, 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 that's what it. turned me on, man. That's what sold me completely to auto flowers, man. Because I'm sure if you're growing, man, like I am, it don't matter if you're growing one plant or fucking a hundred. You go into your grow room. And you stare at them fucking plants. How many yeah. times a day? Yeah. You know, bro, I'm so guilty. Yeah. So, imagine when you go in and you're doing that, and you're seeing rapid growth. You know, rapid differences like like that in that. three hours. I was in here three hours ago, and this shit wow. didn't look like this. You know what I mean? Did yeah. you just say like I walked in yeah. three hours later, it looked like a definitely, different man. Plant. God, I, I get an I get, inch to probably. To two wow. and a half inches of growth a day with auto flowers, See, man. Sometimes, like I'm surprised. Seriously, wow. seeing the like documenting this whole already. journey. It's badass, man. Documenting yeah. this whole journey with CFL, and I'm seeing like, oh my god, my the LED grows only two weeks old, right. and it looks like that. Uh, so I'm imagining you've got your auto under an LED, and you come back, and three hours later, it probably looks like mine after two weeks. And 24 hours of light, mind you. Fuck no me, dark dog. periods. No dark period? Right. Because the autoflower strains, man, originally the Ruderala strains come from, like, north, you know, northern climates. Okay. Like, north of Russia and shit, where they get okay. 24, 24 hours, hours of light. light. And it's cold as a motherfucker. Yeah, because, so you so, got a plant who can actually adapt to that right. structure. Yeah. And that's, that's how, lives, you know what I mean? And that's how it dies. So like, they take all the dank photo strains, the good strains, right. breed them to that original pure Ruderalis strain. Okay. And then, the, you know, that's how you get your different, you know, Girl Scout cookie strains, you know, just different strains. Right. Into auto flowers versions. Okay. Now. So you're not just growing a pure fucking Ruderalis, you know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Uh, but my question is, it being a a natural, forced, fast grow rate, does that affect flavor quality? Because we're yeah. we're flavor hunters, uh, but terp, does terp, it, terp, terp. <laughs> Right. That's why I'm like me switching over to wax was I, bound to I'm happen. like, yep. Yeah. Yep. That yeah. was a natural. But like let's just say I go to a website that features auto seeds. And I get an auto 
Girl Scout cookie. Click on that guarantee, you know, the feminized button. Make sure I give you a girl. Because, you know, only in real life we pray for boys. When it comes to cannabis, we want girls. <laughs> um, but, you know, like get a Girl Scout cookies and get a Star Dog. Are they true to taste? At the end of the day. I'd be lying if I said yes, man. So 100%. I mean, yes, I would be lying. I'm not saying that the flavors aren't there. Right. And it's not good. Just but not 100%. It's just not. It, it wouldn't be the 100% the same flavor or the same terps that, you, you know, terpene profile that you're going to get from the original, the photo, right, the original photo version of Girl Scout cookies or Stardog. But don't get me wrong. you got a grow room set up nice and big. Um, sorry y'all, y'all know how we do real life. Anyways, everywhere. So let's say turn a room out and I go 180, 135, 135. Let light shine. Let them things just branch out and go. Max yield you see in off of an auto. Cause if I can get more out of it, I'll give it. Max yield? Yeah. What's the max yield you see in out of an auto? I've seen shit, man. Right at a pound on an auto. I mean, the the, the yields are, are possible, but on average, two to four ounces. Perfect. Definitely much smaller yields because they're smaller plants. You right. Know what I mean, that's just. They grow up, bush right. up, flower. That's why Boom. a lot of people, you, you always see them and they refer to them as micro-grows. Okay. So that's where that term comes from. Right. Usually when you see that, they're So our sponsor is telling you he grows cannabis just in the most PC way possible. Right. Marketing technique learned. <laughs> Put that one there in the bucket. Okay, I get it now. On the board. Um, so... Being that uh, we are kind of in the space bucket grow community, um, I'm not thinking. I'm thinking kind of average when I say two ounces. Like, if we can at least get two ounces, I'm straight. Yeah. You should have no problem, man, pulling two ounces out of that space bucket at any given time at, off of auto flowers. Because. Our sponsors, no problems involved. You know like, I mean? our sponsor is giving us a goal, and he, like, his written instruction wants us to push these lights. Like, do what you can with them until they break. They're guaranteed for, uh, what is it, 50,000 hours. If you can get them to break in under 50,000 hours, let me know, because we get a free one. Oh! Run well, them 24 hours. So, if I can max, I'm... I'm I say max two and a half months, have a harvest. And yeah. then no, after that harvest, and, and and I'm flipping it up, waiting for it to cure, I've already planted something else to start the whole process over, and in another maybe two and a half months, it's back on. Exactly. You know how many harvests that is a year, bro, in a space bucket yielding two ounces, having three of them? Shh, don't put them on. Consumers got to... Come on, I'm, buy a look, fucking space bucket. Y'all, look, you've heard how many I have. Look, you heard how many. Find another I, reason to buy it, guys. You heard how many I have. That means you need to go. Good, good call for a mid roll. So do the math, though. Just yeah. Go to our sponsor. Twelve plants <laughs> legally allowed recreationally or medicinally Bruh. in Vegas, Clark County. So twelve space buckets, <clears throat> two ounces per bucket every sixty days. You do the math. Like just saying no. Like That's just one. That's if you do one. You're not okay. If you if you smoke that much Hold flour, on. pause. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that one first. Okay. For David here. He'll run out before the 72-hour period with two ounces. <laughs> two ounces? Two ounces is pure medication for him. 
An ounce a, an ounce a week, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, he, he's yeah. we got a co-signer in the building that says that's a day. So, knowing that, um, if you smoke like we do, I would suggest. Look, I also suggest I don't, I like plug-in sponsors, but I actually do suggest you take the time, um, get on your hands and knees uh, with yeah. you know a Dremel tool, a drill, get them hands dirty. Get, yeah, get and actually and actually build one. Cause then you'll see like how tedious it is to lay fucking foil tape. Yeah, that shit is fucking delicate, like stupid delicate. And I imagine they got to do roofs. That's what I'm sides. saying. You'd be Upside ducking down, and, like, and stuff oh, with that same right, stuff. Like it's up. the reflective material Great. that you would use in your space bucket. But you get to see like when you're at spacer number seven and a half. And you go really got to do this again? I don't. Oh, I don't want to build another spacer. I got to lay foil tape. That's the only problem with it. Like it's tape is laying foil tape. Like cutting it. Ah, it's two and a half minutes. Woo! Hit it with saw. Bang. Done. It's cut. Whatever. It's a spacer. And then you go shit. I need reflective material. And you look at this little thing and you go, I'm going. I'm gonna be here for an hour and a half. Shout out to Honey Badger, man. Bro, okay. Yeah. Wait, let's let's Pause. talk about that. Damn. Let's talk about it. Local, you know, local too. What? Yeah, those guys oh, are from we Vegas, have to bro. Talk about Whoa, these. no, yeah. Honey, the Honey Badger, dog. Those you guys, blah, 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 blah. these guys are here local, man. Get the fuck oh. out of here. No, no. Okay, yep. Yeah, um, yeah. Topic switch. No, not even topic switch. We're going to talk about the honey badger, what it's doing, what it's going through right now. Y'all get your hands dirty and build a space bucket. Um, For real. The top is and switch. plant some autos in that motherfucker. Pl- yes. Plant some autos. Yes. And then... Especially if you smoke, smoke, smoke. No. Look. Smash. Take your... Look, take a year. Take a year. There's oh, 52 no. weeks in that bitch. Hold on now. There's 52 weeks in that bitch. All right. Go ahead. Take, use your time wisely. That's all I'm going to say. There's 52 weeks for every for eight of those. You're going to bust the harvest off. I'm not even trying. See, look, I didn't even put you on game like that. He did. Bam. From the person who does it himself. Bam. Do you? You see I'm what I'm saying? over this motherfucker. Like <laughs> quality, not quantity. Yes. And his quality is fire. <laughs> folks, and if you're gonna fire. Medicate, medicate the proper way. <laughs> <laughs> that means like you can really like. That's like, when you hear people about oh, Ooh, over yeah, that thing hit him. In the LA. You didn't know what the fuck you were doing. Please. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shout out to Honey Badger. Very local, right? For real. That one took. <coughs> that one took him to Mars and back real fast, y'all. Bang His medication hit him faster than he had intended. But it's all right because he's still here. Overestimated. But Honey Badger is a portable dab rig or dab tool uh, that incorporates torchless vertical vaporizer. Now, for those of you who are not special enough to attend the ASD market, porcelain tip or, or the or is that ceramic? <clears throat> Isn't it ceramic? That's ceramic, ceramic, right? Excuse me, porcelain. Yeah, ceramic. <laughs> Best hundred fifty. Fucks I ever fucking spent ever. Yeah, um, I've hit how that bitch. You, how long has this uh, been in your possession, the honey badger? Uh, going on like my third month with that thing, man. And I tell you, I, I've been using that thing more than my fucking rig, bro. Since I okay. got it, I need to go extra hard with that. Like, eh, whatever. Yep. Medicate right and there. Since to the face. then, they teamed up and did a collab with. Um, Nectar Collector, I believe it is. Oh, really? And they have a bubbler attachment for it. So, and I haven't even got it yet. And I'm still beating that bitch up. You know? So, I know when I get that bubbler, I'm I'm going to retire that torch, man. It's like that portable or not, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mobile or not, I'm at home dabbing that motherfucker. Hell yeah. Now with this honey badger here, what uh, what's this flavor, bro? This is super awesome. <coughs> That's some Chernobyl. 
Chernobyl. Uh, for those of you who <coughs> had it, <coughs> first time for everything. Yeah. Okay. So the first time he had any form of wax, yes, was a or CBD any form of a dab. Or a dab in general was a yeah. CBD dab that we did when we pure attended. CBD. Yeah, uh, it was ninety okay. like eight point nine percent. No, it was a shatter. Mm. Mm. That was crumble. just all CBD. No, though. crumble. It was crumble. Yeah, but it was all CBD gotcha. from uh, Isidol. Uh, yeah, Isidol. Um, we uh, when we went there and did that. That's the only time he's ever like even yeah. messed with a wax form. Well, I've had wax before. But yeah. not like this. Yeah, it was earwax. <coughs> so put the shit in the blunt. And then we didn't smoke out of rigs. We didn't have none of that. We just dropped it on the blunt. Fuck, let's get right. on. Stuff it. Fuck it. So, Shit's so good. We just roll up shake. It's pine oil. Yeah, just drop the bitch in there. Roll so, the balls, heat it up after, spreads, <coughs> and spark up. Because they, the, the, our listeners know that I've, I'm starting to miss that, that wax and, uh, my life has changed. I'll tell you that because, <laughs> man, he's he's had a, a yo epiphany. Yes, right. what you talking word. about? He's sitting epiphany. there staring at the wall, and God just slapped that boy in the back of the neck like, nah, it wax. Was, what's happened was it was the exhale when I hit that thing. I saw the oh, it took it, your soul out with you. I, no, Put it bro, right back in, you feel... it was it was that flavor like, oh my God, like this tastes so. Good, like that exhale flavor that the yeah. the one that's gonna linger on you for a minute. Roll off the tongue. Yep. It's not like uh, you know, being a dragon and blowing smoke out your nose. You know, when you hit the blunt, French inhaling and trying to get something out of it. I can't uh, even get that big the, of a clown no The potent, so dirty. you know, I want to smell the weed real heavy, folks, and then light the blunt so they have this weird, you know, imagination, uh, like you know, wine profilers do. Or fake wine connoisseurs yeah. do when they smell it, and they swear to God they smell <laughs> like peppers when there's no no peppers in this wine at all. No, it's, but it you know what I'm talking about. Spicy aroma. You know what I'm talking about. The yeah. people who like to smell the flower like real tough yeah. before no. they. Smoke I spark the it until it's lit because I pinch that too, so no airflow is going through. It's not just a light spark. Right. I do that because my grinder sometimes I overdo it, and I don't like to lose my shit out the front. I still want to get back. you over the papers. Oh, I am, especially with those ones. That's well, the next on the list I'm roll up. Yeah, but I uh, know I'm gonna get you to stay on papers. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna get you to stay uh, on papers. I don't know about that. It's been a long time. Interject. Interject. It's what it's about. If he's gonna smoke something. With the finest cannabis. Shout out to Fatties. I love the pun on this box, by the way. <laughs> because if you see it on it. the back of it, it really says this product is intended for use with only the finest legal cannabis. Right, like my you can't man. Go wrong. Like you can't even say that wrong about that at all. Like that's why I'm trying to get him to go over the paper. See, it's it's just come on now. But I roll my if you up, if I you were to smoke cigars. flour, you're smoking it out of a glass piece. Yes, <laughs> thank that's, you, that's Jesus. Yeah. He majors in glass, bro. Never, I. Unless I'm so unless glass I'm in glass here. and or uh, paper. Unless I'm here with you, it's glass. Yeah. Definitely reaching for glass for my first choice. Oh, definitely. Always. Um and I don't think people understand the stoner routine. Like y'all don't understand like how like on this, this is pretty much set up nicely to where I don't really get too much bad reclaim off that thing. You're pretty much burning it all up. It doesn't really bubble over too much. You get some, but it's it's all right. It's like more of a sidecar straight down. Try. Eh. But I designed that with flour in mind, and then when I put a bowl on it, it was like, no, that's not going to work. Right. Ah! And the dab rig was created. And then since then, it was just like, hold on, wait, this flavor is amazing. Why does it come out like this? It's the one he does. It's the Ornithos. <laughs> it's the ring itself. I love it. Yes. It's made The way why everything tastes so good is because it's lined like it. with tequila. Remember I told you we drank this Sorry, shit with um, raspberry Only a pizza. real Mexican dude would say that, man. <laughs> yeah. That's a true, true yeah, Mexican 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 for you. Hey. 
That's a Mexican no, but, stoner for that ass. Well, I swear, but drank that one night with the raspberry brisk iced tea. You did not taste no tequila at all. That's what I passed the fuck out. I told you a story. See, passed the fuck out. Did not know. Nothing. Nori, if you listening, come you on. need somebody to. Uh, you need get, to tune uh, in with us because Eddie yes, the I ass eater out of there. <laughs> My man Stacks, come drink um, with you. Show you show you how what drink, the bottom of the table champ. like. I'm a lightweight. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got a limit to when I drink. When I smoke, dog, uh, all I need to do is just replenish every couple of hours with some food, and I'm really good to go. Yeah. Uh, Me, I, I go until and then right back. Let's with another one. But just like, like with, I told you the other night, well, the with blunt, we, I put it out of. But have you ever? Have you ever just that. purged? I, like, I ain't no bitch. I'm gonna smoke this bitch. Have you ever just purged off of weed and then feel like you totally just reset yourself? You're like, oh, I can smoke right now. Shit. Like, you got over yeah. high, threw it all up, yeah. and then your body all of a sudden no, is like... I didn't even throw up. I got so high before mm. on my 22nd birthday. I smoked myself sober. I literally felt like I did when I woke up in the morning. That Brand means. new sober, did not feel shit. While I was still smoking, like, you know what? I don't know what to do. You weren't even high in the act of smoking? No, that's in the act of smoking is when it happened. I was like halfway through the blunt. And you're like, eh. Yeah, I'm just like... Brand new day. It's like nine thirty at night. I'm looking outside, like true cloud nine. Yeah, the first time. The first the other time, time I told you the second time. Back. I've only been there twice. Damn. And yeah, sober. Now see, but I woke up the next day feeling like, wow, I should have smacked a pill too. My over high moment. Don't condone drugs, folks. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know what. Nah, We're over 21 But still I condone know. the use of A lot of you don't know I don't condone the do use of like any other thing know crazy So just stay in the house So if you do anything crazy And you listen to this podcast Just Don't know, blame us We want you to stay in the house And listen to this podcast Just don't blame yeah. us I don't care if you're driving down the freeway Blasting this on 86 Yo it was Please your do. choice To I listen didn't put- to the what are we doing I podcast? Tell you to drive to spot. I didn't tell you to pull the money out. Look, don't blame me. We blame didn't me. tell you to go get all that. We just no, told no, you to no. go get some weed legally because you can do it here in the state of Nevada. Yes, yeah, now where you chose to go do your business on the side. Yeah, don't your issue. Look, man, you know what I'm saying? We only fuck with reputable people. You heard? Anyways, uh, true cloud nine moment. I've never had one. I've always get to the point of where I like, I know it's coming. I have to purge. Yak it all up and then I'm right back. Right like shit. it literally is like I went to sleep and slept that shit off. But I can be in the moment and be like, I'll smoke another blunt. Nick let me in his mouth, wash, brush my teeth real fast. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like what? Yeah, that's what it was. Like my old lady sees that shit. And she's like, Duff, did you just? Yeah. And you're gonna smoke again? I'm like, yeah. Once again, I want to shout out Fatties because I am loving the king size. No, this this is the time for the mid roll, so that's when we talk about you know tech stuff and geek stuff and gaming gear and things of that nature. You know, we oh, gotta pay bills, oh, man. Oh, oh. yeah. Well, you, I'm sidetracked trying to roll some. I, look, Excuse me. He over here preoccupied and shit. Yes, so. yes. We'll come back. Look, we gotta pay some bills and then we'll we'll get be right back. Yeah, we're gonna keep talking autos because it's still blowing my fucking mind. We'll be back in a second here.